welcome to Simple Solutions Diva. I'm Laura Mori, and today I have got a super simple recipe for a rustic fruit tart. And let me tell you, this recipe is perfect because of its imperfections. You do not have to make it look perfect, and I love that. So, and it's a great way to use up summertime fruits like berries and apples and pears. So, first of all, we're gonna set the oven for 400 degrees. Next up, in a bowl, in a large bowl, we're going to combine two cups of flour with a pinch of salt and a tablespoon of sugar. We're gonna mix that up, make sure it's thoroughly mixed in there. Next, we're going to add to this one and a half sticks of butter. So that's basically 12 tablespoons of butter. And we are going to cut this butter into the, the um, uh, flour mixture. Now, you can do this one of two ways. You can use a pastry cutter, which really makes it easy and you know, you can do it one handed and if you get tired, you can switch to the other hand. Or you can use the simple way, if you don't have a pastry cutter in home, you take a, a, two knives and you basically cut the butter pieces so that they become the size of peas. The next step, once you've gotten it to this consistency, you're going to drizzle ice water. Ooh, we're going to get that little bit of ice out of there. You're going to drizzle ice water into the mixture and you're going to start gently mixing it up. You do not want this to be super, super wet. Here's what the dough looks like when I've added just enough moisture to it. Here's what the dough looks like after I've added enough uh, ice water to it. It's a good consistency and now we're going to turn this out onto plastic wrap and we're going to pop it, we're going to wrap it up and pop it in the fridge. Now while the dough sits in the refrigerator for 30 minutes, use that time to chop up your strawberries and mix them with uh, two tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to help thicken up the juice a little bit and oh man, does this smell awesome. So we're going to use this in our tart. We it out onto a lightly floured surf work surface and rolled it out to about 12 inches in diameter, kind of a rough, rough circle. And now I've uh, flipped it onto parchment paper and I am going to now fill my wonderful fruit tart. So I've got my strawberries, and I am going to put that all, kind of just pile it right up in the center. And you want to leave, oh, yummy juice already coming out, flowing. Uh, uh, you want to leave about an inch and a half border around your, um, your tart so that you can fold over the edges, and I'll show you what I mean. So, you basically roll this up over the edge, making sure you don't leave any holes where the juice can, can dribble out while it's cooking. And the beauty of using a um, parchment paper is that uh, once it comes out of the oven, you can then uh, just slide it right off of the parchment paper. Now, I'm just going to roll this up. Again, it does not have to look pretty and perfect. It just has to hold the fruit. And that is exactly what it is doing. And I'm actually going to use a little bit from this side to patch up this little hole over on this side so it won't leak while it's baking. So now we have our little... Um, tart ready to go. We're going to brush it with an egg wash mixture. Mixture. It is just basically egg white mixed with a little bit of water and I just kind of, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I just kind of, you know, mixed it up with a fork so that it was uh, nice and clean. Now here we go. I'm going to just brush the top here with this egg wash mixture and then I am going to use a little turbinado sugar. You can use regular sugar if you want. I just like the look of it. And I am just going to sprinkle that 
all over the top of the tart. And the trick is we are going to pop this in the oven at 400 degrees. I'm actually using a baking stone. I'm gonna slide the parchment paper and everything onto the baking stone. We're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for approximately 45 minutes. And here is our beautiful rustic tart out of the oven. And oh, it just smells so good. I cannot wait to dive in. It, it's perfectly simple and perfectly imperfect. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you next week on SimpleSolutionsDiva.com. Mm -hmm.